what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog good morning good afternoon good whatever time it is wherever you are right now i hope you're having a great day before we got into doing mods and doing maintenance and, and doing everything else i figured i would just take you guys out for a drive and got 50,000 miles on this truck right now so I figured I would take you out for a drive and give you my impressions of this 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500 diesel um, why did I even get this truck so I had a 2016 Chevy Silverado LT 1500 absolutely loved it my wife said that she wanted to buy a 38 foot camper uh, that wasn't gonna pull it so it was an expensive week we bought a camper we financed a camper and financed a truck so um, needed the truck the 2500 to haul the camper if we hadn't gotten a camper I wouldn't have gotten rid of the 1500 but now I am so glad that I did this truck is a truck it rides like a truck but it doesn't ride horrible it is extremely quiet for a diesel you know when you say diesels I, I think uh, the old 12 valve Cummins and the the seven three power strokes that, that just rattle 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 this thing yeah you hear some diesel noise in the cab but it is not bad whatsoever um, can very easily carry on a conversation with the passenger can very easily hear the radio even though it's substandard um, just an amazing driving truck um, it is comfortable uh, when I am in this thing for two to three to four hours straight towing the camper I'm comfortable my wife's comfortable my kids are comfortable nobody's complaining that their butt hurts uh, there's plenty of room in this crew cab to just stretch out move around get comfortable um, everybody always says that diesels are so expensive to maintain that uh, everybody scared a lot of people that I talk to are scared to get into diesels because they say that they're gonna be their maintenance costs are gonna be through the roof um, this truck isn't much more expensive to maintain than a gas motor um, yeah, it takes twice the oil uh, that a um, 5.3 gas motor does. So what? Um, the only thing that really that I have to do that a gas motor doesn't have to do is fuel filters, and I do those about every 10,000 miles. So have I had any problems with this truck? Yeah. Um, I had a vibration in the steering wheel. Um, more of a clunk. Um, and it ended up being uh, the steering shaft, the intermediate shaft. It is a common problem um, on these trucks. It evidently has been, uh, if you read the forums and uh, the Facebook groups and what have you, it evidently has been a problem for, for years. Uh, GM came out with a revised part in the technical service bulletin and 40,000 miles, trouble free ever since I got the new part put on. Um, the only other problem that I had was my driver's side mirror camera stopped working. Um, I hit a bump one day my mirrors were out because I was towing um, 
next time I turned on my turn signal, it wasn't there. So, drove around for with it for a little while, um, took it to the dealer, it was covered under warranty, I got no problem since. Uh, I did have to wait a little bit to get the parts because of the supply chain shortage and everything, but hey, everybody's dealing with that nowadays. So let's get to a spot where I can park and we can do a complete walk around in-depth review on this truck. All right, so let's get into this. Got the 2020 Chevy Silverado Duramax 2500 HD, colors North Sky Blue Metallic. Um, you can see right there, we don't have the factory tires on anymore. Went back with a factory size tire in the Nitto Recon Grappler AT. Factory tires wore out in about 40,000 miles. I'm hoping that uh, these do a little bit better in the snow this, this winter. The factory tires weren't real great. I got the Bilstein 5100s all the way around. Greatly improved the factory ride quality over the Ranchos. Took the factory running boards off and put the amp research steps on there. Absolutely love those. Makes it so much easier for my wife to get in and out, for my uh, youngest son to get in and out. Do have a small little uh, place where the powder coat's chipping off, but Amp's got a five-year warranty, so I'm sure that they're going to take care of that for me. Diesel fuel and def. Doesn't really go through too much def. It's uh, not the problem that I thought it was going to be. Coming around the back. It does have the trailer max package on it so that we can put the extra cameras on our camper if we wanted to. It's got a seven pin. It's got a receiver hitch. It's got two cameras in the rear. You can't see it, but right up there, there's one in the third brake light. One of the things that I really love about this truck is the tailgate. It doesn't have a handle anymore. It's a push button. Factory spray in bed liner. And all you have to do to get the bed to go up, touch that button again, and there it is. Goes up by itself. Got the backflip hard tonneau cover. Absolutely love it. My kids will get up there and play sometimes. I'll stand up there if I gotta wash the uh, roof of the truck. You can see right there, the lighting's not great. We got the Bilstein 5100s. Haven't really done a lot of mods to this truck yet. They're coming though, that's why this channel's here. So that way we can share that together. Under the hood. It's pretty plain Jane. Stock, motor, engine whatever you want to call it. No real modifications. The only real modification is right here. That's where the Derringer hooks up. Other than that, don't have anything going on. LED headlights, daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. Absolutely love the headlights on this truck. They are phenomenal. We have lights and spotlights in the tow mirror. Let's get into the interior and go over that. All right, inside we got a ton of stuff going on. Got the dash layout here. 
you can see we got 49,328 miles on the truck. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it. Tachometer to the left. Oil pressure. Water temperature. Fuel level. Battery. And speedometer. The center cluster also scrolls through to multiple different options that you can set yourself. Um, you can have your music show up there, your navigation show up there, or your telephone show up there. I like keeping it on the info screen. Steering wheel is well laid out. Ton of buttons, but there's a ton of technology built in here. My favorite right here, heated steering wheel. My 16 didn't have this. Cold mornings, starts up, it's a lifesaver. Cruise control, station select, track select back here. Push to talk on your Bluetooth and the call. This scrolls through the screens. And then you have your volume in the back. Over to the left, you have your mode selector for your drive mode. You got auto, four wheel drive, two wheel high, four wheel low. You also have your lights, your fog lights, your cargo bed lights, your panel dimmer, and then this is your uh, headlight selector switch. I just normally leave it set on auto. This is a nice feature here. It's your tow mode, your tow haul mode. It's no longer on the stalk. Pull it one time to the left. We're now in tow mode. We can see we got a trailer down there in the bottom right hand corner and that's our transmission temperature. Turn it back, it goes right back to battery voltage. We've got the Banks iDash to keep tabs on everything that's going on in the internals of the motor. Any sensors, I can read them. One thing I love here, put the window down so we can see it better, is the power fold mirrors. And they also power extend for towing. Here we have the center column, laid out very nice, very intuitive, swipes just like a uh, smartphone would. My favorite feature on this, uh, and this is a must have for me, is Apple CarPlay. Brings it up here. Um, yes, I really do have 68 voicemails and 52 unread text messages, um, but this does absolutely everything that your phone does. You can make it a split screen so you have your navigation your turn by turn directions and your music there but we can turn it up and down here or we can turn it up and down at the uh, steering wheel HVAC system it's a split system so I can be one temperature and my wife can be another temperature um, it's got auto so the fan's not running all the time and it's not constantly pumping cold or hot air on you. Just like your house, it'll get you down to a certain temperature and it'll cut off and then it'll just maintain. If you want to use your, you don't want to use this, but you want to touch your screen, it's right there in your, uh, on your radio. Full heated seats, heated lumbar and ventilated seats. Got a ton of different switches here. Exhaust brake, I only normally use this while towing. It doesn't make the truck sound like a dump truck. It just helps it get slowed down. The brakes on this truck are absolutely fantastic. Um, some guys have problems with them squeaking. I've never had a squeak problem. Um, and I actually had the trailer brakes go out on my camper while pulling it. And this truck still stopped absolutely flawlessly. Lane departure warning. If you start to veer off one way or the other, it will 
make your seat vibrate to get your attention, parking alert, tailgate drop, hazards, traction control. This has a 110 power outlet in the dash right here, as well as in the bed, and then um, hill descent control. Trailer brake to manually activate your trailer brake and adjust your gain. USB C, USB, and 12 volt cigarette lighter. Center console. We have wireless phone charging right here. Cup holders, cup holders, glove boxes. We got plenty of cup holders in this truck. Let's climb into the back and check it out. All right, the rear of the crew cab. You got a bench seat in the back. Folds up to give you under seat storage. Um, from the factory, I had the storage bin there. I took it out because with uh, my trophy case over there, um, it made it pretty useless. I couldn't get to it, so at least now I can slide stuff underneath of the seat. It's got little cubbies that open up. Not sure what we could put back there, but we could put stuff back there. Center armrest folds down if you don't have a third person in the back. Cup holders and whatnot. Air vents, heated seats, USB chargers, 12 volt cigarette lighter. Keeps the kids plenty occupied while we're going down the road. <laughs> All right, so this is a new one for me, sitting in the back seat of my own truck. Um, got the passenger seat where my wife normally has it. Um, I'm 5'11", just so you have a reference point. Um, but I'm sitting in this seat comfortably. Um, my legs, I got plenty of room to move around. And... I have plenty of headroom, so comfort for the rear passengers is not an issue in this truck. That's it. That wraps us up. That is the channel intro to my 2020 Chevy Silverado. Man, if you guys have hung out this long with me, thank you so much. You are obviously my people. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you drop a comment in the bottom. Um, tell me what your favorite feature about this truck is. Do you have one of these trucks? What is your favorite feature? Don't have it? You just here for the content? Man, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out because we've got a ton of stuff coming out. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.